go to the view menu in Affinity Designer and go down to Studio and Layers. That's the key panel for this, View and Show Grid. And there's also an option here, Grid and Access Manager, if you want to modify the grid. Also, Snapping Manager. So go there as well. And in there, you can see Enable Snapping. Make certain that's on and Snap to Grid. Now, what I'm going to do, go over to the Pen Tool. With the Pen Tool selected, now I've got a fill here. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to use the fill. Stroke set to black and also the size 26. You can vary the size, make it 34, whatever. Now the options I'm using here, cap, I'm using the third option, join the first option, align the first option, and that's it. That's really all you need to set there. Also useful for this, you could use this one in the mode, the pen mode, but you can also use this one, which is great, it's a line mode. Just makes it a slightly easier so you don't have to press escape all the time. So I'm just gonna click on there with the pen tool, with the, there. I'm just gonna go along there, and you can see you've got this line, and that's why I've got the snapping, so it nicely snaps along there. Now I go to the next line, again, do exactly the same. Now you could just duplicate these lines, perfectly reasonable as well, perfectly reasonable just to use the alter option key and drag and duplicate lines, but I find it just as easy, just to quickly create the lines. Let me just do this, and go all the way down there, takes a fraction of a second longer maybe and you can see you've got that all those lines there what you can then do is go up here click there and click down here and you've got that and of course you can go up here click down there and you see you've got that obviously you could now what you can do finish it off get the whole grid each time just go up to this point you can see where it indicates where you need to be click there and of course you can create much more complicated grids than this if you want. You could skip some. You don't have to feel, obviously, have it all consistent all the way across. Always remove them. And that's that. So what you're going then, or what, you can just go over here to layers. So you've got the layers panel here, and you can select all of them. So all of those curves, all selected. Then you go to layer, and you go down to geometry and merge curves. So merge curves is the one you want there from geometry. And it all becomes one single curve. Now what you can do, just go over here to the move tool and you just resize, move it around, rotate it, etc. Apply effects to it and much, much more. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.